Red Stair, you're gonna draw toothless. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along. You need something to draw with. We'll always use markers. Well, not always, but most of the time. And then we also use... Paper. Yeah, and... Some pencils. Pencils, and we always use paper. Yes. <laughs> you ready to start? Yes. <laughs> We're first going to draw the eyes to toothless. We're going to draw two ovals and we're going to draw them about this size. So we're going to draw them really tall and then we're going to leave some space and we're going to draw the other one right next to it. There you go. Yeah, Whoa, those are going to be big. I like how big they are. Yeah. Next, we're going to draw little ovals inside of each eye. This is for the highlight to make our eyes look shiny. It looks like it's doing cross eye. It does. But let's color in the big circle, but leave these little ones white. Remember to pause the video if you need more time to finish a step. Now let's draw the outside of his eyes. We're going to start up here at the top and we're going to draw a curve that comes down. Looks like an upside down U, half of it. Yeah, and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now at the bottom, let's connect that into the bottom of the oval, both sides. Yeah. Good, I, I really love how big you drew your eyes. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome when we're all done. Now we're gonna draw the top of his head. We're gonna start over here. I'm gonna draw a big upside down U like this. Start over here and come over to the right side. Okay, now we can draw the bottom of his head. We're gonna start over here. And we're going to draw another curve that comes under and then connects over to the other side. It's kind of looking like a frog. Yes. <laughs> Yours is awesome. Okay, now we could draw his nostrils. Let's draw a little oval pointing to the left and also to the right. Yeah, and then one more. Good job. Now we're going to draw the little things sticking out of his head. They kind of look like ears. So we're going to draw an big upside down U over his right eye. Yeah, there you go. And then we're gonna draw another one on the other side and we want it to look the same size. Come up and back down. Yeah, and then we can also draw two little ones in between the two big ones. And then also, yeah, one more. And then also let's draw kind of a big one over here on the side. And on this side. And then we, yeah, one over here too. <laughs> and then let's draw a little one right underneath that one. Yeah, <laughs> one over here, little one. Austin, you did such a great job. Now we're ready to draw his body. Let's draw a line coming down on both sides of his chin. So one right there and one right there. Yeah. Good. Then we're going to draw a curve that comes out and down on both sides. There you go. And then one on the other side. Yeah. Now we're going to curve back around like this and then we're going to come back up. And we can do the same thing over here on this side. Yeah, and then on that side also. Oh, you're doing so awesome. Then right here, I'm gonna draw another curve that kind of comes out on each side. So you could draw a little line that comes out to there. And then on this one, maybe just draw a little higher. There we go. Now down here at the bottom, let's draw his little toenails. I'm just gonna draw little U shapes that are connected next to each other and we can draw. I'm drawing four, but if you want, you could add five or you could even draw less. Those are for his little toenails sticking out. Then let's draw his legs. We're going to draw him sitting down. So we'll draw two curves, one on each side, come out and back in. Then let's draw his foot that's underneath his leg. I'm going to draw another curve that sticks out on each side. <laughs> we need to draw those toenails. Let's draw. Uh, this time I'm going to draw three because I can't fit as many underneath. Yeah, and then three over here on this little guy. 
Then right in between his two front legs, let's draw his belly. What should we draw next, Haas? His tail. His tail. We'll start over here, and we're gonna draw it coming around like this, and then right at the end, I'm gonna curve it down. You could draw yours coming out a little higher, around, and then kind of running out of room so it could come up a little higher, right underneath him. Yeah, perfect. Then we're gonna draw the other side of his tail. It's gonna come around and then connect to a point here. And you know what? You could start here and then connect it too. So it's underneath his legs. Yeah, that makes it a little easier. Now let's draw the fin sticking out on both sides of his tail. Now, right here, let's draw a curve that comes out on the bottom and also on the top. Yeah, and then let's draw two more a little further back. In the last How to Train Your Dragon movie, what color was his tail? Black. Black, yeah, he changed it. It used to be red, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so in this one, we're gonna draw both sides the same. So right here, we're gonna draw three U-shapes to connect those two lines together. Upside down U-shapes, and then three over here to connect these. Then inside of the fin, we can draw two lines on each side. Good job, Austin. Now, what is he missing? His wings. His wings. His wings are really important. Let's draw a line that comes down and back up on both sides. Down, back up. It's like a V shape. Yeah. And then up. And then same thing over here. Over, up. Then we're going to draw a big curve coming down on both sides. Yeah? Oh, your wings are awesome. And we're going to draw upside down U's for the bottom of his wings. Yeah, keep going. You did it. Austin, we're missing one last thing. We should draw something in his mouth. Fish. A fish, yeah, let's draw a fish. I'm gonna draw an upside down U right here, right underneath his mouth. Good job, and then right here, let's draw a curve that goes up. Right here, draw a curve that goes up. This is gonna be the tail. And then over here, we can draw a big curve coming up like that for the head of the fish. Now let's draw the tail. We're gonna draw a little, two little bumps. <laughs> One, two. We did it. We could also draw a little dot for the fish eye. All right, Austin, we finished drawing Toothless, except we still need to do one last thing. He's gonna look even better once we do what? Color it. Color him, yeah. Now this part, we're gonna fast forward one more time, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same color. Austin, great job on coloring Toothless. He turned out awesome. Now instead of coloring him black, we colored him with a dark, dark gray, and then we used black to add some shading. And you also added a highlight on the eyes to make him look even shinier. And that was with what color pencil? White. White. I hope you guys are gonna pause the video right now to color your drawings also. It looks so much better colored in, don't you think? Yeah, we hope you had a lot of fun drawing Toothless. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and it's okay if your drawings don't look exactly like ours. Our two drawings look different, and that's okay because the most important thing is to have fun. Have fun and to practice. Practice. Remember to practice. Yes. <laughs> we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.